All right, so what I'm going to do in this video is finally teach you how to get C. Okay, for the last couple lessons, we just kept putting C in. Whenever we take that indefinite integral, we had to add that constant on the end because we knew we were losing something when we took the derivative. So we've got to gain it back when we do the integral. Now, up to this point, we've never had enough information to be able to do that. But in the two questions I have here, they give us an extra piece of information which will allow us to then find what C is. So in both of these questions, it wants us to find f of x, so the original function. So of course, in order to get f of x, I'm going to need to take the integral of the derivative function. Okay, do the opposite of the derivative. And so to take away the derivative, I'll do the integral of 2x minus 1 with respect to x, so dx. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the integral. I'm going to use, of course, this rule, this property right here, the fourth property, where I can separate it into two pieces. So for the first part, 2x, that's going to be using my second rule here, where I'm going to add 1 to the, vari to the uh, exponent and then divide by that same number. So this is going to become the f of x is equal to, and then I'm going to do the 2x, so that's going to become x squared. I've still got the 2 but then I've got to divide by the n plus 1 as well, and then minus, and then of course for a constant, the integral is the constant times x, so minus 1x. Of course, don't forget that c. We haven't solved for it yet. So now it gives me a second piece of information. It says, well, now at f of 0, it's equal to 3. And so I'm going to just simplify my function really quick. So I'm going to cancel out the 2's, which will leave me with x squared minus x plus c. A little bit of foreshadowing there. So uh, plus minus x plus c. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put 0 in for x, because that's f of x, which is equal to y. And so my f of x is 3. So I'm going to put 3 in and then 0 for x. And I think you'll see that, as I said before, that was a little bit of foreshadowing. C is 3. So f of x, the original function, equals x squared minus x plus 3. Okay, That one piece of information was enough for me to be able to find out what C actually is. All right, so let's go on and move to the second one. If you want to try this one on your own, be my guest. Okay, this time it's giving us the second derivative. It still wants us to find the original f of x. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and do that. This time it gives me two pieces of information. See if you can figure out how to use that information on your own, and then watch to see if you've done it right. So, here I go. So I started with the second derivative. So I'm going to take the integral once, now, if I take the integral of the second derivative, that's going to give me the first derivative. And so that's equal to the integral of the second derivative, which was 2x plus 1. Now, that should be oh, with respect to x, of course. So that'll be pretty easy. So f prime of x equals, now I'm going to do the integral of these individually. So the integral of 2x, so I'll add 1 to the exponent, so that would be 2. Divide by 2 will cancel out with this one, so I'm going to end up with x squared. And then plus, now the constant is 1, so 1x, one or just x, plus c. Now at this point I'm going to use the first piece of information, because it's telling me the derivative of 1 is 3. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, okay, let's put in 3 equals 1 squared plus 1 plus c. So that means 3 equals 2 plus c. So in this situation, if I subtract the 2, 1 equals c. So now I'm going to rewrite the problem, the first derivative. So the first derivative is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. And so now I'm going to finally be able to get to my last step, which is now going to be finding the original function. Now, of course, in order to do that, I'm going to have to take the integral of x squared plus x plus 1 with respect to x. And so from there, we'll go ahead and solve. So 
f of x equals, now the integral of x squared would be x to the third, but then I've got to put the three, divide by three, right? Divide by the n plus one, or put that fraction in front, plus x squared, again, over two, or times one half, plus x plus c. All right, so again, I've got f of two is seven, so f of x equals one third times x cubed. Now x cubed would be two to the third power, which is of course eight, plus one half times two squared plus two plus c. And f of course, f of x of course is seven. So from here we can go ahead and just finish solving. We'll go eight over three plus two squared is four divided by two is two plus two plus c. Now of course I can subtract the four and I would get three equals eight over three plus c. If I subtract eight over three from each side, that would leave me with one third equals c which means that my final equation would be this, f of x equals one third x, or x cubed over three, right, plus one half x squared plus x plus one third. And there you go, we have found out what c was, starting with a original function or from the second derivative function. So, now you can start on your work.